Yo, what's poppin'? It's Remulus. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, there are a lot of settings in Rocket League, and thus there are a lot of settings that get overlooked. So today I'm going to be showing you the best option for every single setting in this game, giving you guys a significant advantage and maximizing your base improvement rate. So without further ado, here we go. So gameplay again just use these settings here but to mention a few text chat now you probably want to disable this or at least minimize like what it shows uh, depending on how badly you get affected by like toxicity and stuff but just remember if you disable it entirely you can't like tell your teammate you're going for a kickoff or letting them go so just keep that in mind there voice chat just turn it off it's completely pointless to have on okay then so cross-platform play doesn't really matter you can have this one on or off just Remember that if you are on console, you will play against people on PC if you have this on sometimes. Uh, and that means they will have a performance advantage, so keep that in mind. But if you are a high rank, this is ne this is necessary, otherwise you'll never find a game. So it doesn't really matter on that one. And just copy all the other ones here. Camera settings then. So right off the bat, camera shake off. Don't care, it's going to make the game worse for you. Turn it off. These first four settings here, just copy what I have. These are pretty common. These are... For the most part what the pros use maybe give or take a little bit on the distance and the height and maybe one degree or two degrees on the field of view these are just very nice very clean they're far enough back but they're still close they've got a nice angle and all that stuff so use this stiffness i'm a high stiffness player you can use one stiffness this is just completely preference uh, i like 0.85 a lot of people use 0.6 uh, and some people even use zero Swivel speed, this one, you can have it quite high. This will just allow you to flick your left or right stick. I've actually forgotten which one it is. But you flick the stick just to look around when you're playing, see where your teammates are. And then transition speed, just keep it at this. Keep it at 1.1. Um, turning this up will basically adjust how fast your ball cam like snaps. And if you have it really fast, your brain will probably not be able to keep up. And it'll be more difficult than it needs to be. All right, so moving on to controls then. In conjunction with camera... These two will really maximize your mechanical game. These will allow you to learn your mechanics quicker. So here we go. So use all of these settings right here. Um, but if you do have issues with your camera settings kind of shaking around or your car turns in one direction constantly, you'll want to increase this controller dead zone value. Just keep increasing it until the vibration or whatever stops. Um, but yeah, just use these settings here. Dodge dead zone have this quite high because you don't want to be backflipping all the time have vibration off and all this stuff now bindings this honestly i think will be the most game changing set of settings and definitely very good to have early on in the game okay so i obviously just keep my drive and boost and jump all default some people will have boost on r1 but i don't think that's fully necessary you should have power slide and air roll on l1 that will optimize your ability to wave dash and kind of save buttons on your controller Ball cam rear view are exactly the same. I have air roll right on R1, that's for stalling, and obviously air rolling if I need it. Air roll left I have on L3, that's for half flipping. Now these are interchangeable, you can have air roll right on L3, air roll left on R1, it doesn't really matter. But again, these are just my sayings here. The scoreboard is square, because square is now not occupied by anything. I'm pretty sure everything else is just standard. And of course you've got reset shot as square. But if you're a rumble main, maybe this wouldn't be the absolute optimal settings because your use item is the same as your air roll button, but then you just learn the other method of half flipping, which by the way I will make a tutorial on eventually. So interface then. This one is good for seeing where your teammates are. So interface scale, do what you want. Nameplate scale, you want to push this up a little bit. This will make the nameplates of all the players on the pitch easier to see. And speaking of which, you want to make sure the nameplate mode is on default or simplified. It doesn't really matter which one, just do not have it on nearby only. Nearby only will basically hide the nameplates from all players on the pitch if they're kind of far away, which defeats the entire purpose of having the nameplate entirely. Time updates only, this just will simplify what you get notified about during the game. Now, connection quality indicators, turn this off. This will more than likely distract you because all this does is a little icon will show up saying oh yeah by the way you're lagging but the problem is is sometimes when you have a connection error in in rock league it won't actually affect your game at all and if it was bad enough to affect your game you would already know so all this connection quality indicator will do will probably tilt you or distract you when you're playing so just turn it off it doesn't help you notifications during gameplay turn this off as well this is just distracting and then all of the other ones you can fiddle around with, they don't really matter too much. 
Now, video. If you're on PC, you want to use the following settings right here. Obviously, if you have a higher um, resolution monitor, you want to go and use that. I've just set mine to 1080p because that's what my monitor is. So use those if you're on PC. If you're on console, you want to use these settings right here. Uncheck everything besides transparent goalposts. Now, vertical sync. This could be a make or break for a lot of players. I would only recommend turning this off if you're really serious about playing. Now, I will make another video on this entirely uh, because of the implications this can have on how your game looks. But other than that, turn off weather effects like shafts, lens, flares, because they're just irrelevant. Keep goalposts on, and now we're moving to audio. Audio settings I just have turned off, you know, all music, voice, ambient, crowd. To be fair, you can have music on, doesn't really matter, I just have it off when I'm streaming. Um, you know, dynamic range, have it as default. Now low, you might think, well hey, if I can hear quiet, quiet sounds, you know, more easily, I can hear people coming to demo me. Which is true, uh, but I think it just makes the whole game sound so terrible it might end up turning into a distraction so I keep mine on default and then in game music I have mine in training only because I don't want any distractions in game and I do like chilling out in training so there's the settings I've got for that and chat this one is probably the most overlooked of all of the settings I've covered and really the idea is is you do not want any form of toxic quick chat this will just make you play worse when you use them it'll make your teammates play worse when you use them and 99 percent of the time it will probably not make the opponents play any worse so remove any kind of um, toxic quick chat like okay or what a save you know anything like that obviously having nice shot great pass yeah okay they can be used toxically but do you know what i'm trying to say don't use any of them that could be just straight up used toxically um, this will just improve your gameplay experience for you and other people and make it generally a more fun game. Alrighty then, so that basically does conclude this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hopefully these tips can help and maximise the rate that you guys are improving. Well, there we go. That's all I'm hoping. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day. Happy training. Take it easy. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.